scientist Janice Wilson Hughes here. For those of you who are curious how the circular flutes shrink, how they sound after they're fired, I'm going to play a few for you so you can see. Of course, how the tuning shifts is going to depend on what clay you use, how you fire it, and the dimensions of your instrument. In my flutes, what I find generally is that all the notes shift the same amount. So they stay in relative tune with each other, which is great. And the total amount that it shifts is about a half a step higher. So if your low note was a D, then your low note after it's fired will be a D sharp. And then each of the notes will shift up that half step higher. I'll play these and let you hear what it sounds like and maybe give you a few tips about how to play them. Now don't get discouraged if you can't make yours make sound right away and you follow the instructions exactly. It takes a little bit of practice for some people to figure out how to blow and how to hold the instrument so that the blowhole lines up properly with your lip for them to make sound. I find it's harder to make the higher notes sound properly. So when you're finding your placement, you might want to try with all of the notes open and find where that will make a good sound for you and then play in that position as opposed to just starting with all of your notes closed because that's a little bit easier to play. you get better the more you make. So your first flutes might be a little harder to play if you make a few, a handful, three, four, maybe five, you'll probably get better at making your mouth blow hole so that you'll get a clearer note when you play. For example, this one, although it looks pretty cool, is a little bit harder to play than this one. And if you look closely, the blow hole here is a little irregular on this one. On this one, the blowhole is here, and it has a little bit of a stronger edge, and that edge is very vertical, so it splits the air nicely when you blow across it. And when you go to play these, you might find that you really need to adjust the angle and where your mouth is in relation to this hole. small one to see how small I could go and I'll tell you what is very difficult to make very many notes on this. Just doesn't play very well but I did make a large one that does play. So this one's much larger than the others. Again, I have a minor pentatonic scale on this one.
one's really pleasant, so you might enjoy making some larger flutes also. And now for the flute with a sound bell on it. This one is tuned to a modified major scale, so it has quite a bit of a different sound than those minor pentatonic flutes that I played for you already. I think you'll find if you make a longer transverse flute, you'll get a more pleasant tone. And if you take a little bit more time to tune it, it'll also sound better. I made this one very quickly. The last note is pretty sour. But you can play a little song on it. Don't be discouraged if you find that you're having a hard time getting your flutes to make sound, even if you followed the instructions for how to make the blowhole exactly. You may find that it works right away for you, but you might also find that you need to experiment a little bit with how you're blowing, the angle that you're holding the instrument, how close your lip is to the blowhole, if you're blowing more outward that way or that way. So you need to experiment, and I'm sure that you can get it, I'm sure you can. But for some people it may take a little bit more playing around before you're comfortable with figuring out the proper way to blow to get your flutes to make sound. For example, so that seemed pretty easy, right? But if you get your hole not quite lined up, or you're back here, So now that you know what they sound like, let's talk a little bit more about how the tuning shifts in firing. I found with all of my circular flutes, with the white stoneware that I used, that's a cone 6 stoneware, fired all the way up to cone 6, my notes all shifted the same amount. So the flute did stay in tune with itself, which is awesome. Now it all shifted about a half a step. So for example, if the lowest note was D, after it was fired, the lowest note is about a D sharp. So if you wanted to keep that in mind, you could tune your flutes a half a step 
lower than what you want them to turn out to be in the end. You'll need to experiment with your own clay and your own firing processes and your own decorating processes to see how yours will shift. But the good news is you still get a fairly playable instrument the way that all the notes change together. So don't be afraid to make one and tune it even for someone who wants one in tune. I think you'll still find that you can get a decently playable instrument. And if you're willing to put in more time to refine your process with how your shifts and firing, it's completely possible to make one that is very much in tune after it's fired. Thanks you guys for tuning in to my Circular Flutes and Transverse Flute series. I hope you guys have had fun. I know I have. I'll see you guys later in my studio and have a great day. Bye. subscribe to my YouTube channel, you guys.